Hello friends and colleagues. My name is Barry Mohamed Aliu. I'm a master degree student in NRS University. The course is um, the web-based training design and implementation strategies. Well, the topic, my topic is, because I choose my topic according to my field, and my field is human resources development. So the topic is e-training and its world in human resources development. And the objectives of this presentation is evaluating the presentation work by using the SWOT analysis. And this is what I'm doing. Um, this is what I will do after that. So e-training strength, I will start by the by e-training the e trends. So nowadays, the rapid development of information and communication technologies in all areas are the key element in the success of any institution and an important prerequisite for achieving competitive advantage and the ability to survive in an environment of rapid change. This means that sometimes e-learning or distance learning is one of the major success of many institutions. In terms of rapid change, of course, because um, using information technology and the internet in the education and training human resources is one of the is one of the most important indicators of the society transform transformation, the digital one, because uh, that will contribute to greater efficiency and effectiveness, dissemination, disseminating information, awareness and thus uh, obtaining informationally efficient human resources sought by communities in the current area. Matters, matters fact, utilizing the, the technology and the internet in education and for human resources online training are the ultimate indicators of the organization's success. So um, this is uh, some tremendous and uh, ultimate strength of e-training. Uh, we have the trainer is a guide and facilitator of training resource. The trainer interactive, this is a, a little bit uh, different from the traditional uh, teaching, the traditional learning. It's very different. So um, the collaborative training, uh, the, the trainee learns through practice and self-search. Search and investigation through the internet, through the internet, have problem solving. Here it can lead you to problem solving. While the traditional training is where the trainer is the primary source of training, one-way information flow, it is just the one-way information flow. And uh, we are in the e-training, interact to two ways of information flow because it's between a trainer and a trainee and even some uh, friends you can interact together while doing the online course you can ask each other question different questions so coming to problem solving we have collaborative training the training learns through practice and self search self uh, search and investigation through the internet problem solving and it the onto the e training this is one of the the strength of e-training. While um, traditional training, here, uh, information recall training without taking individual differences into account. And uh, the e-training take individual differences into account because it can evaluate each and every one. It's one by one. The lecturer, it can give the change to the trainer to evaluate the individual uh, differences between the, the, the the attendees or the trainees, and uh, changing content, uh, content, interest to quality, relative cost, interest to trainees' conditions and observations of their individual capacities. Here, the e-training objectives. E-training aims to achieve many objectives, like providing multiple and disparate source of information allowing opportunities of comparison, discussion, 
analysis, and evaluation. And it gives an opportunity to make a comparison between students. Make like discussion, discussion about a specific topic and make analysis about a specific topic uh, given by the trainer and for the trainer to make an evaluation of individual participants or individual trainees. Now we have updating information and skills of learners according to new data on human knowledge. Sharing experience through e-training media and give you the opportunity of sharing experience through e-training media. Finding interactive training environment through new electronic technique and uh, different information source and experience. Meeting market needs on personal and qualified staff, particularly meeting market needs on knowledge-based job. And uh, filling the gaps of society and structures as a result of successive uh, development in information technology, providing education and training opportunities for staff and job managers, spreading technical culture in order to create an electronic community able to keep up uh, with the development of our, our our time. So here, to I'm just gonna summarize it. Just into the few words. So here the objectives of e-training made them very, very powerful. Which is um, you know, here the main aims of the e-training is to give the possibility of dialogue of in between individuals and to make individual differences toward a specific topic, and also it gives the trainer an opportunity to evaluate individually trainees. So in one word, its aims consist of gaining knowledge through a trainer or other distance training has no limit. And it has no limit or one means. Any television, broadcast, video, or any information program may be considered as distance training. It's not only doing courses online that is mean uh, making training. You can follow sometimes courses online but uh, read is not on live all that is called e-training or um, distance learning or watching movie like a program to, to teach you every day some uh, about grammar vocabulary all that is called distance learning so which made it a very powerful uh, very powerful element of the of education now we we're gonna come to the e training's characteristic. It has many characteristics. Like the first characteristic is the possibility of dialogue, discussion, and groups in various places and times. And considering individual difference of each trainee as a result of realizing subjectivity in the use of one machine per training. So here is give you the possibility e training give you the possibility to use your machine because some people may just be familiarized with their own machine they cannot use others machine because some can use agility like in that's a french uh, keyboard some can only use qwerty that's uh, english keyboard some arabic uh, keyboard some Turkish keyboard so it depends it gives you an opportunity to use your own machine everyone so it one machine by training you take your machine and you follow your courses online and it's uh one of the characteristics is multiple sources of knowledge as a result of contact with different sites on the internet and uh, dissemination of compatibility between trainees achieving compatibility between different environments with equal and compatible standards second to achieve interaction both between the trainee and the trainer, uh, the trainee and um, other trainees. This interaction or at least something of it has become possible by technological advances in the areas of computer and communication. After here, um, the training, a large number of trainees in a short time without obstacle of time and place. This gives an opportunity to the lecturer to train a number of trainees in a short time, like for one hour, 
everyone get connected like usem usem we are using the the system of a nearest university so it gives all the lecturers to stay home and uh give them the possibility to teach everyone in a timely manner not too long everyone get connected into the system and do um the course in uh, for, for very short time and the place you can be at your place wherever you are you just need the internet connection and to focus on, to follow the course and feeling the principle of equality and treating some psychological phenomena such as fear and same felt by Chinese in discussion on the traditional methods it makes them feeling uh, more daring and free to express their ideas and e-training can avoid uh, be ver being very stressed like in the traditional class because in the traditional class sometimes some students are very shy that even they know something they don't have they i mean they don't dare asking question about it they just maybe prefer keeping them for themselves until outside maybe they're gonna ask the lecturer back just after the class because of the class will be crowded and they will be ashamed or they will be yes maybe because everyone is looking at them maybe if they give a wrong idea they will some people might make fun of uh, their ideas so e-training this is one of the power of e-training after that we're gonna come to the e-training uh, weaknesses e-training faces many difficulties which resulted to to weaknesses such as is the difficult it difficulties lead it to to become very weak this is because each and everything has its uh, trend and weaknesses so now we we gonna talk a little bit about uh, the weaknesses of the e-training first of all we have the network outage during the research first of all we all know that information technology has effectively contributed in the implementation of training programs and produced ways quite different from traditional methods. It's very different. But e-training is still not respond to all conditions required to be perfect. Learning method, that's why I'm gonna focus on its weaknesses, which are breaking its development. It's breaking the development of e-training. So first we have the network outage during the research. Network outage is one of the the, the, the problem facing users while searching and browsing within the internet due to a technical reason. I'm gonna take an example from the last class. Our last class, we were supposed to take all, to attend all the class, the online class, but some students, due to the internet connection problems, they couldn't join the, the online course. They couldn't join us online, on, on live. So this is one of the, the biggest problem. And the second one, digital filtering. Here is the it is the ability of people or institution to determine the contact and time perimeter for people and the necessity to receive their contact. Then to do these contact restricted or not, can they cause harm and damage? Filters are placed mm -hmm. to block or close unwanted contact. And the third one, we have privacy and confidentiality. Of course, privacy and confidentiality, because we, for attending the, the classes, we must use or, I mean, try many websites just to to try to be on the online course, because if you're not uh, familiarized of the, the the new technology, I mean, of the computer using computer, you have to go in many sites, many websites. Sometimes you will be asked to register and you put your personal information. So all is this is one of the weakness of, of um, e-training. So you you might be attacked on major website affected trainers and trainees and put in their mind uh, many questions about the impact on e-training in the in the future. After that, we're gonna talk about the the physical obstacle. The physical obstacle, we're going to talk about uh, the lack of um, 
appreciation of institution needs by technical institution. Our technical institutions have very small experience in business. They cannot assess the needs of the organization and the organization does not have sufficient technical experience to identify its needs. Thus, institutions reap resources to handle with them when implementing a project, particularly infrastructure projects, as they deal with factories, banks and uh, ministries which burdens them with heavy costs for unnecessary equipment. After that, we have a lack of necessary experience in the technical field. Here, um, in the technical institution, they are mostly familiarized with theory experience by giving out an assumption for everything. The most expensive is the best and finest without any checkout or analysis. They, they are not checking out every, uh, anything. They just used to do it every... Uh, Many things online, everything, even the courses online. So they are most familiarized with uh, using everything without making any, uh, without changing places. Even buying things. When buying computers from a company, the institution has to compare their prices with local ones as well as with international prices. So they don't have any experience, any field experience. They just buy according to the prices. After that, uh, self-reliance in system. Self-reliance in system building by institution. It is intended that institution resort to agree with a technical company to design a software or an application, which means assuming the full cost while buying ready more software. So um, this is a little bit about that, about software. And uh, we have lack of material support by software companies. While finding in some foreign states, unlimited support to institutions consists in granting discount up to 90% of the product value as the case of Microsoft. We find Arabic companies do not provide any support as they are completely absent to perform their role. After that, we have desire to leadership and copying or computing with major institutions. In this here, um, here is one of the, the consequences of theoretical learning without any practice. The imitation is higher than the creation. Yes, imitation will be higher than the creation. Everything will be copied from the internet, from someone's deeds, to, just to make it yours. To, to, to make it yours, unless it provides the full potential offered by the major organization that have physical potential expand. In the in the area. So after that, we are gonna talk about the opportunities, the e-training opportunities. E-training is one of the most important issues in the rehabilitation and training of the human resources. It is a way to develop the knowledge and the skills of individuals in a flexible and appropriate way to their circumstances, without the need of uh, for uh, intra burdens training through the internet and modern communication devices provide an excellent opportunity for institution to use this type of training at less cost and more appropriate path to achieve the institution's objectives by coping with technological development and raising the efficiency of its staff, the necessity of activating and expanding the use of information and communication technology in human resources development, the necessity of copying with the technological development of network and training um, by, by workers. So e-training opportunities. The first opportunity, is, opportunity of e-training is reducing the trainees moving. It can reduce the trains moving. You can stay home. You follow your course, maybe from Cyprus to US, USA, maybe from Cyprus to England, by just uh, being at back of your, your desktop, and you will follow your course on time. And um, because here they say desktop training leads to reduced trainees' travel times. Because programs are available in time for training. In time. You just have to respect uh, time. And second opportunity is easy access to the network. 
Through modern tools, the trainee can easily access to computer and internet networks with little skills and experience. It gives you experience to access to the internet and network. It gives you the use of uh, getting access to the internet networks. Most of, uh, for use of personal computers, training using network does not require the trainee to install special software or develop multiple versions of computer application. You don't need to do that. Oh, that's for the advanced uh, trainings. So just for basic training, you don't need to develop another computer application. You just need to have a link and you follow at your house. So the second opportunity, the fourth opportunity, opportunity here is quick access to up-to-date information. Uh, the responsibility of the development uh, team is to quickly move to introduce any new changes into the program. You will be updated about any information into the program. Like, we're going to take an example of um, nearest university's online courses. Once you created your, you put your um, student ID number and you, 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 I mean, you get registered into the system, you will be informed about any changes made into the programs. You will know all information and all announcements in a timely manner. And we have a flexible time. It provides the opportunity to choose the time in which the comp he completes his study of the topic rather than to be obliged, as in the usual method of training, like the traditional one. The traditional one, you are obliged to go and sign and sign that you have attended the class. So this one you are not obliged to attend. You just you give you flexible time to choose the time which uh, suits you, and have strengthening education with available media and material. And training allows the trainer the possibility of consolidating information and skills provided through the site with images static and animated graphics and video clips to strengthen the training objective and reinforce the provided message, which facilitates its submission to trainees online. After that, we're going to talk about creating interactive atmosphere between the trainer and the trainee. The natural or virtual study that primarily relies on discussion and dialogue makes the trainee a key participant in the training process making it uh, a method of great benefit, breaking the traditional method of training, which relies on the fact that uh, the trainee is just a receiver and the trainer is just a lecturer. That, that, that's a very traditional way. And encouraging cooperation and communication between trainees. And easy access to trainers. Of course, while doing e-training, you have the easy access to trainers because while doing uh, the traditional way, it's very difficult for you to, to contact the lecturer just after the class. It's very difficult. You will not have, you have a limited access. It's just in class. If, for example, you have another issues of doing your homework or for understanding the, 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 the last class, you, you have to wait. You are obliged to wait for the next class to ask the lecturer. But for doing in-line, online courses or taking e-learning, e you, you are uh, in touch with the trainer all the time. You can ask him whatever you want. The trainer became uh, able to send his The trainee became able to send his question to the trainer by email or by call. Multiple evaluation method of the trainee. It can, you can evaluate at the same time many, many students or many trainees at the same time. Immediate evaluation tools provide the trainer a variety of ways to easily and rapidly build, distribute, classify, and evaluate information. And providing virtual reality. E-training process program, e-training virtual reality, e-training programs can provide virtual simulation program through which the trainee lives the reality without being affected by its conditions or serious and difficult position. After that, we're going to talk about the um, e-training traits. This is, this is the last one. 
we did the S, we did the W, we did the O, we did the, uh, now is the T, the traits, the, to complete the SWOT analysis of my, uh, of my topic. So here we're going to talk about low bandwidth and unstable internet. The effective deployment and implementation of blended learning requires robust network, of course. For focusing the courses online, mainly the online courses, you need to have very strong internet connection. That's the very big problem. Very big problem. Accessing learning content and connecting to online classes. Unfortunately, many scholarly studies have found out that many developing countries have unreliable internet connectivity and low internet bandwidth. That's the major problem. This is a trait for the e-training. And the second trait is unreliable power supply. Various, various research findings have identified inconsistent power supply as a major trait technology led learning. It, I will um, I will personally take an example from uh, some of the developing nations in Africa, even not in Africa, even in the Europe or America. Some in some areas, unstable unstable power is a single of the greatest obstacle to e-learning and contributing to the digital divide in Africa. So if even though you have a strong internet, if they the power, the electricity is not stable. You cannot focus, you cannot complete all the conditions, all the online um, conditions. And after that, lack of clear policies and legislation regarding blended learning. Through e-learning, there are not too much uh, policies and legislation, not too much rules and regulations to follow. You just have to put your personal information and um, and finish, you can focus your courses online. But uh, traditional way, they, of course, because the school is an institution, it's an organization, so it may have rules and regulations and legal policies, yes. So, but but e-training doesn't have all this one. In this regard, recommended institution aspiring to implement, to implement blended learning to, to produce the proper policies to sustain the learning approach. The policy, according to the authors, it will lay out clear goals, normally execution plans and identify risk mitigation programs. Unfortunately, uh, pointed out the lack of policies and legislation supporting e-learning and digital learning in many development countries. There is a need for a clear stipulation in government policies and legislation regarding e-learning programs lack of quality and standard e-learning plans. Unfortunately, there are many people who are realizing the benefit of online teaching, which is why competition can be seen as a significant trait. Competition is a, is a very significant trait. Those who would like to sell personal training online can find it difficult to stand out from the competitive landscape. Yes, that's true. Because if you want to sell your, your training, your, your training, some people just put them online for free, for not for, for, for no for no money. For not uh, uh, you just have to put some information to to enroll yourself and then you can follow some courses online. Yes, but and so if you, you want to make uh, you sell your personal training, it will be very difficult for you while some are giving them for free. This is a major trait. Also, there are some students who are not willing to for, to forego classroom style. So, to forego classroom style means there are some students they are not willing to leave the traditional way of teaching. They still want it. They still want to focus the classes to go to classroom. So that's a trait again. Learning because of fear that online teaching won't deliver high level of effectiveness. If everyone is doing the same activity, so it might have some um, not confidence. It will be not uh, you will not have you will not be confident of uh, of um, of some online courses. There are also some online schools that exploit the skills of teachers, offering substandard pay. And after that, so that was all about my all about my topic.
So thank you so much, dear friends and colleagues, for your brilliant attention. Thank you to dear doctor as well for the great opportunity given to me. So this was my presentation. So if you have any question, please write down, write down your questions and ask them during the online uh, course. Please. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it.